Okay, I thought I'd uh, do a quick video on how my auto top-off system works. Um, you can find this out online. It's my food. That's what I do. I mix food into a baby jar. Just buy a whole bunch of random, like they buy, uh, you can buy the variety pack for salt water. I mix all the cubes up and that, and I refreeze it every night and thaw it every day. Works pretty good. Okay, well here's my auto top-off system. So I thought I would show you. Excuse the daughter back in the background. So you ought to have is a suction cup with the, which I just happen to have the suction cup. You don't really have to do it, but I'd recommend it to hold the tube down or get something to hold that tube down in the water. Uh, as close to the bottom as you can get it, so that way it'll take as much water out. And then as long as this thing, as long as this bucket is above your refugium, see I have mine on books and stuff. I did it fairly cheaply. I have to be cheap. I have kids. Okay, then it, this you can create a siphon with just a regular airline hose. And what I've done is I've ran that hose down. Okay, sorry, just a light here, I'll show you. Uh, see, I've knotted the airline tube, and if you can see it dripping, one. Two, and it drips about every seven seconds, I think. Well, let's count it. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand, four, one thousand, five, one thousand, six, one thousand. Eh, maybe a little fast. Uh, normally, you just try to do it at the evaporation rate. I was just messing with this, so it's probably not perfect. But that's basically all it is, and it'll keep your salinity perfect, uh, pretty close to perfect. You may have to adjust it a few times. Uh, I have to adjust mine every once in a while. I have to adjust my auto top off and it kind of a pain but it's not that big of a pain like I'm gonna have to adjust it right now because it's dripping too fast and you only want it to drip at what your evaporation rate is and my evaporation rate is you know somewhere around once every seven seconds a drop of water evaporates from this thing uh, as you can see lots of bubbles right at the moment up there uh, I moved my coral is it so I could see the more heads and stuff it has on it? Oh, this camera is pretty bad. This is just my phone camera that I use most of the time. It's my shrimp. He's out. And there's a hermit crab. Uh, but that's basically it. My auto top off system. I'm going to be taking this part, take apart next week. I move. And so it'll be set up in a different location. And it may be set up differently. It may be something all together completely different, for all I know. I'm, I'm going to keep doing salt water, but I don't know if I'm going to keep using this tank. So, we'll see. This might just end up being a refugium system. Which, kind of complicated refugium, but can keep a lot of stuff out of my main tank, couldn't I? So, I'm going to adjust this, and I just thought I would give a, just an overview of how it works. It's really simple. It's way cheaper than, and way easier than setting up... Uh, a float switch and all that stuff which costs money and you know you gotta have pumps and which Doug I guarantee it probably keeps your levels a little more stable and it's probably a little bit of less of a pain see now that's dripping about once every second seven seconds one one thousand two one thousand three one thousand four one thousand five one thousand six one thousand six seconds that's fine it should be fine and it keeps my water level about right and if it's Needs adjusted, I adjust it. Uh, sorry about this, I'm putting my light back on. But beyond that, I don't really even mess with it that often. Uh, I think I have to adjust it. <laughs> Salt all over me. Uh, you back to underneath this thing. But, yeah, I just need to adjust it every once in a while, but it's not that big of a deal. It seems to adjust fine. I just thought I would do a sy just system update before I rip it down. I'll probably do one more. The last day, when I take it down, I'll probably do one just to just to show, give myself a little memory of it. If you can tell, I moved some shells up here for the hermit. I don't know if he'll move or not, but and I have switched. My light is on all the time for my refugium, and I tell you what, my hair algae is starting to die up in the top tank. I've noticed. And I think I'm definitely going to do that. Uh, and, and this Calerpa 
and my Cheeto have just taken off. Uh, my Calerpa algae right here, as you can see, used to be just this little short piece, like this big long piece that's up here now, used to only be about to there. And that was a week or so ago. I mean, when I took my contest video, that piece of algae was about six inches shorter than what it is now. So it's growing like crazy. And I just... And also you can see sweeper tentacles. I don't normally see a lot of people put their sweeper tentacles. This thing shoots them out pretty far. Uh, as you can see them. And it'll pull back in in a minute after it gets... It loves that protein skimmer going crazy. Because I think it just spits out a few nutrients that that thing ca catches normally. But, that's my update, and uh, anybody who doesn't know, uh, go check out uh, BM20197, uh, J Flesh Tanks, Flesh Tanks, and Mr. Mom Tanks, they do contests, and also uh, check out Hot Chicky 8, uh, her reef tank, I mean makes mine look pathetic her little 10 gallon nano i mean she's got it full of corals and stuff and done all right and i uh, sure her setup's not as complicated as mine that's for sure but i tell you what she does a really good job and hers was a really good cheap setup uh i'm pretty sure she just used a regular hood light and painted it white underneath and it and then put some compact fluorescence which is what i have in this and her coral looked beautiful. Uh, I mean, everything looks great in her tank. I wish my... I just hope mine will look like that eventually. But I don't think I'm going to keep this as a nano. I might, but we'll see. Uh, I might keep it as a nano and keep this as my refugium. But we'll see what happens. Uh, I plan to move to a bigger tank in the future. But, that's it. And uh, thanks for watching. Favorite and like, please.